Alright. I'm gonna show you how to host your own game. Or host your own co-op game, for this case. I'm gonna skip the necessary parts and choose whatever you want here. You're probably gonna take a little longer than me, but you, you might want to have expanded troops. I haven't tried the rest. Sure, it works with the rest, but if you wanna try it out, that'll be awesome as well. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on. Uh, you are gonna want to see, you're gonna want to select the second one. Take whatever you want. So, uh, Okay, no. that one might be better. <laughs> All right. Just gotta get past this part. It doesn't matter. You can just select whatever you want. It really doesn't matter in here. All right, now. Oh yeah, we gotta do this part. <laughs> Oh, I missed. I missed again. <laughs> now, fuck this, I'm gonna go. Heal again. Nice, Alright, done. This is the part that matters. You're gonna want. Alright, you're gonna want to click on camp. And you're gonna want to click on both options. Remember, and remember, this is only necessary if you're hosting your own co op games if you want actually. if you want others to join. Now, you see the third one, it says enable battle time. It allows you to set up multiplayer battles for co op online. Right. Make sure you enable this if you want to host your own game. Uh, and you're gonna want to set. Hang on a second. I wanna set this to. The amount you wanna set in the multiplayer battle. But, uh, I don't think you have. You don't have to set this, but it might be better to have 100. Yeah, the rest of this, the, the rest of this stuff will be up to you. You can choose whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Alright. Done. Resume traveling, you're gonna want to save. Somewhere, so you don't have to do that again. Uh, this, uh, the, the battle time setting might reset after a few patches, so you might have to re enable the setting, but it shouldn't take you more than a minute to do that. Alright, we're gonna try hosting the game right now. We're just gonna go here. I gotta hire some people because it's a proper system right now. I got, a, I got a flag as well, that doesn't really matter. Anyway, here, I'm gonna try hosting the battle against this guy right here. So what you do is, you pick the people you want to fight, or the castle you want to siege, or whatever. Now, what you want to do is, you want to click on give me time to save. That's what you click first, alright? Then you save, or save as. Then you click on them again. And you click on set up multiplayer battle. Now, if you're hosting a, if you're ho if you're hosting a dedicated server, and if you want to put the battle in your dedicated server, not your listed server, not your local server, you're gonna have to find where the full where the file is, uh, where the where the co-op file is stored. Hang on a sec. This should be somewhere around. Uh, where is it? Okay, so if you're hosting a dedicated server, this is where the, the file should be. You're gonna have to somehow transfer that file into your dedicated server box, and you're gonna have to change...
Alright, well, or actually just slightly more convenient rather than easy, hopefully, alright. So, if you're hosting a Lissa server, after click on a set of multiplayer battle, uh, this, I'm pretty sure most of you are hosting a Lissa server or a local server. Just click, click on quit game, after click on a set of multiplayer battle like, like we did earlier. Right, just click quit game, then you're gonna want to, this one, you're gonna want to be fast. You don't want to click on anything else. Just go straight up, click on host the game, and that's it. Host the game for you. I gotta say, take it out. Yeah. Let me just do that. All right. Now you see, this is what this is what should should show you. All right. It should show you what happened earlier. That that was that was like a, a glitch because I was in a multiplayer multiplayer server earlier and I had multiple instances for battle. But yeah. She'll show, you, she'll show you something like this. Pick the server name you want, whatever you want. Make sure you add the game to the official server list if you want people to find it. This thing right here. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can, you can choose whatever you want. Just click on star map. Alright, uh, your game should have started by now and be able to pick uh, factions of players. My game is bugging out because uh, it has several instances of more band on, so it's kind of glitching it out. Oh yeah, this, that's all you have to do to host a multiplayer game, really. Right, that's great. Great. 